What's up guys, David here, one, two, and two, and it's list day. Ah, uh, yes, list day. And today we're looking at the top 10 worst animations in Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duels. Master Duels is a wonderful online client that allows us Yu-Gi-Oh! Man players to play Yu-Gi-Oh! without actually having to sit next to one of our friends. <laughs> friends. And because it's a video game, there are plenty of flashy graphics to make it a visually appealing thing to play. In your face, dueling book, you boring piece of sh And when you play certain monsters or certain spell or traps, a little animation plays to give you that epic, classic Yu-Gi-Oh dueling feel. Trouble is, uh, not every one of these is an absolute banger. Some of them are kinda duds. So we're gonna look at the bad ones, because you guys like watching me dump on things. <laughs> You're so negative. Anyway, let's get started. Number 10, the animation that inspired the entire list, Water Enchantress of the Temple. Okay, so what was so bad about that? It's the Wing King. Why? Why is she gotta do that? It's just so uncanny. But like a lot of the cards on this list, it also begs the question as to why this one? Oh, but the Wing King. Like, Griffin Rider is arguably the boss monster, right? Like, shouldn't he have an animation? But nah, it's the waifu card, because waifu, I guess. Oh, does she got a blink, though? The blinking and the winking. Maybe if she did something else, it wouldn't be so bad, but like, she just raises her staff, stands there, looks like the damn flying nun. And stares deep into your soul. Make me feel bad about playing a deck. Make it super uncomfortable. Number nine is Nibiru, the primal being. Okay, so I'm not exactly sure what one would do for a monster that is just a big rock. But the vibrating thing that it does is not it. Stamp thing looks like a meme. Like, I don't understand. The artwork of this card is a motion shot. Why couldn't it, like, I don't know, have anime lines and kind of move in from the angle? Here, watch. I'll fix it. But nah. Instead of that, we just have a big, stupid rock. Great. Big. Rock! 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 Like, come on, guys. I know you gotta pump these things out pretty quick in order to keep the, the you know, the card pool coming, but... I don't know, take five minutes. Number eight, Gem Knight Ruby. Okay, so Gem Knights have two monsters with animations in this game. One is Master Diamond, you know, the boss monster. The other one is Ruby for some reason. I guess it's because of dual terminal lore, but like, why of all of the fusions? This one. I just think they're neat. The animation itself, I guess, isn't so bad. It's more just a confounding choice to have one. Although I suppose he's just standing there gently playing with his stick, which means I might actually have to uh, censor that. Here we go. I fixed it. Why is my channel so horny? Like, I'm even wearing that Prince's Link shirt. Oh, man. This is why no one will sponsor you! Anyway, let's keep going. Number seven. Aplikafukapoki chuki chooks. Aklipifort. Apoclifort. Apoclifort Towers. I did it. Okay, so if uh, Nibiru's excuse for not doing much was because it's just a big rock, what's Tower's excuse? It does even less. It just kind of approaches the screen a little bit menacingly. <laughs> is, is Tower's an uh, like a like a monster? Like, does it have any motion whatsoever? Is it just a building? I'm really not sure what the hell you would do in this scenario. It it's really. I'm not even positive what I can do to fix this. Uh, you know what? Here. Double sun power! <laughs> That's better. <laughs> Number six, Flunderies and Snow. The animation is okay, not much happens, it's just burb. But like, of all the cards in the deck to get an animation, why is it this one? Like, I understand that I guess this is 
technically their biggest monster, like level wise, right? So I guess it's the boss monster, but M Pen is a much better card and the only one anyone plays, no one plays this thing. So like uh, uh, Ruby, it's just kind of a confounding choice of why you would pick this thing over literally anything else. Literally. And on that note, I'll take a, a quick moment here to thank Kieran for getting all of these uh, animations for me. We, we, we sat down just one afternoon and just banged them all out. Banged them all out. And R.I.P. his uh, crafting material, he had to make one of these <laughs> to get the animation. So the worst part about this is my friend had a waste of time and money. So there we go. <laughs> All right, F's in the chat. I think the uh, I think the biggest problem here is the animation is only as good as the artwork can be, and and Snowl itself is like way in the background in there. So it's mostly Strix in this picture. So I, I guess I, they could only do what they could do, right? They could have just picked M Pen, I suppose. All right, number five is Mirror Force. Mirror Force is the one on the list that's not just a monster summoning animation. It's, it's actually uh, one of the spell trap animations that just kind of play in the overworld of the duel. Of all the special animations, this one's probably the worst, so if we had to include one of these just for a sense of fairness, I, I think it's this one. We look at things like Monster Reborn, which shows the big emblem thing, and Called by the Grave that does that little boop thing, which is super funny. Hell, even Magic Cylinders has got a pretty cool animation, even though that card is pee pee bad. <laughs> Emotional damage! Hero Force is just, I don't know, underwhelming? <laughs> it kind of looks like the card artwork, so I guess that's what it would be, but I don't know, this thing looks more like Froggy Force Field than it does Mirror Force, if that makes any sense. <laughs> know what I think I want? I think I want the, blade, the beam to come in and then like, and explode, or I don't know. It's Mirror Force, come on! It's the ultimate I gotcha trap card. Maybe I'm just a boomer. Maybe that's the problem. Way to go, boomer. You know what? I take it back. This is great. Uh... <laughs> Number four, Union Carrier. Yo, it's, it's just a truck. Not even the wheels move. Like the one thing you would animate on this, on this would be the wheels. It's just some sense of motion to them. That would be super cute, but nah. Like you could have done anything. You could have had the, the lights maybe blink. Uh, the wheels could have spun. Uh, emotion lines maybe. Hell, I would have settled for a little horn. <laughs> I'm gonna face. I'm gonna face. Come on, motherfuckers. Ah, I take it back, not the face. Oh, oh God. I don't know, I could have done anything. Even the beer jiggled a little bit. So like, I don't know, this is... And can we talk about for a minute, this is just another one of the ones that's just a weird one to have. Like, Union Care is not really a boss monster, right? It's just kind of something you make in the middle of a combo. It will, like, Aurora Dawn or something. Just a, a, a random card that's just in the middle of a combo. It, it's a weird one to have a, an animation to. Number three is Umber Mirage, the Elemental Lord. <laughs> okay, this one, this one doesn't move either. It, it, it's still an image of the damn card. Again, Nibiru at least did something. It, it's just a rock and it did something. Towers didn't do anything, but I think it's just a building. This thing is a monster, right? It's an Elemental Lord. Like it's a god of darkness, I think. First we have Dark Lord Blood. I don't have any friends. So like, why doesn't it do nothing, right? Like it's got its weird little cape hands it could wiggle those around, but instead it just kind of appears and it looks like a uh, Meta Knight was f fused with an egg cooker. And not only that, but it, it's not even a good card. Like it's probably the worst of the Elemental Lords. It's uh, hard to summon. You have to f exactly five darks in your grave. Put this thing down all to just be a Sangan. So Search. Why don't you just play Sang again? It's a better card. Here we go, I'll fix your animation right here. Yeah, this is the best, best card. This is the best card. <laughs> Number two, Dual Assemblworm. <laughs> this thing is sad. Okay, 
so why number one um this card is bad like i i truly don't understand why of all the cards picked on this list would this one would get an animation above everything else it's a random cybers monster is it for brains anime reasons and the damn thing looks like serendipity the pink dinosaur L look at this thing Man, it looks like serendipity is had enough. <laughs> like, what is it? Like, it just appears on screen and like it, it's it's exo armor, like drags its body around, its head kind of droops. Is this thing dead? <laughs> oh my god! Assworm is like my new hero. This <laughs> this is the best one yet. Do you think she's all right? Who knows? <laughs> Honorable mention, UA Playmaker. Hardy har har, make fun of UAs again, Dave. Yo, come on, man, they blow, they stink. Almost like every everything in the Yu-Gi-Oh universe called Playmaker is just bad, you know? But, I mean, I gotta admit, at least the animation's pretty funny, like, it really accentuates the fact that he's, like, pointing and holding, like, the golden goose egg. Look at that Baba Yaga, like, you're next. And again, it's, it's probably, arguably, one of the worst big monsters in the UA deck, so I don't know why it gets an animation over something like, I don't know, Slugger or something, which is the card you'd actually play. It really should be Dunker, let's be honest, because that's the one that closes out the most games, probably. I have no idea why, <laughs> but you know what? At least it, at least it made me laugh. That's, that's the important part, right? All right, number one, the worst animation in all of Master Duels, Blue Eyes White Dragon. <laughs> Look at this thing. You know what this thing reminds me of? Like one of those shooting galleries at like, a, like an old timey carnival. Like all the other entries on the list moved like too little. Like they just didn't do anything and they were boring. This thing moves too much. <laughs> yeah, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> what did they do to you, Blue Eyes? Your jaw dislocated? What happened? It's kind of sad, right? Because, like, Blue Eyes White Dragon is arguably, like, the mascot of, of Yu-Gi-Oh! Like, it's it's him and Dark Magician. It's so, like, it's weird that he would have such a weird animation. Uh, hot take. They also picked, like, the weirdest uh, artwork to use for the one that's in Master Rules, too. I, I don't know why you wouldn't pick the classic one. This is just bizarre. But anyway, guys, that was the list hope you guys enjoyed it this one was a lot of fun to make um and thanks again for karen for going through all these with me i'm sorry you had to spend your your, your crafting material on a snarl but that was it was worth it buddy it was worth it in the end <laughs> if you guys can't get enough of your davenators remember i stream every wednesday on this channel most of the time we play master duels sometimes we we play uh duel links it has been a while but because uh, since master Duel came out but that's it's a Yu-Gi-Oh stream one way or the other and over on my gaming channel enemy controller i do let's plays and things like that and i stream over on enemy controller gaming over on twitch i try to do that on fridays currently we're trying to play every single n64 title in the north american catalog all 296 of them <laughs> let's go so remember guys if you don't troll the meadow who will i'll see you guys next time